All right, so today we're going to be unboxing the AX500, uh, 5040 Wi-Fi Bluetooth 5.2 PCIe adapter for a PC. So we're going to install this inside the case and hopefully it'll have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth after we download the drivers. So let's start with the unboxing. I've already taken a look inside here, but it comes with two antennas. The actual driver itself, which is attached to a, I believe, three and a half inch um, plate. And we're going to swap it out for the two and a half inch plate right now because the PC I'm using is a small form factor and not a full size tower. Oh, also additionally in here, it does come with a SATA cord, I think, uh, for data hookup inside the computer in addition to the PCIe cord and some instructions. So those will be very useful. So first, we just got to take these two nuts off. All right, so I got my socket cut here and it appears to be a three or a 5 sixteenths. It appears to be a 5 16 socket that fits on this adapter. So keep that in mind if you want to switch the plate cover. So that gets those out of the way. And now you're going to need a um, Phillips head screwdriver to get these two little screws out right here. So now keeping this new one in the same orientation with the right angle piece facing on the opposite side of the PCIe connector, I'm going to go ahead and install it back, install this new uh, uh, plate on here. Now I'm just going to go ahead and reinstall this, um, these, like, they look like almost coaxial ports for the antenna. So we're going to go, uh, lock washer, I mean, um, this, and then the lock washer second, and then the, um, nut third. All right, so now all we got to do is install it. I'm going to go ahead and uh, stick this cord into this port so we know where it goes. So the first thing I'm going to go ahead and do is just uh, power the computer down. So I'm going to go ahead and want to pull the computer out. And the uh, first thing I'll just do is disconnect the power. Then I'll go ahead and press the uh, power button just to make sure there's not any like energy left in there for like in capacitors or anything like that just to be safe. Now lift up on this. Pull out void your warranty because this uh will void your warranty if you still have a warranty but considering uh, when this model was manufactured i don't think that that's going to be likely so now you can see in here where our pci port is at over there in that corner so that um black one right there is where we're going to be installing the graphics card I mean the, uh, sorry, excuse me, the Wi-Fi card. So I'll go ahead and just lift this up to reveal this. And we can pull this cartridge out right here. And this should just slide right in. That's in there. Alright, so the interesting thing is, is that this doesn't slide all the way in. I think that this plate 
is just a little bit too long, or a little bit longer than the old one. But that's slid in as far as it'll go. So I think we're just going to have to make do, and I'll just go ahead and shut this, and it should still hold it in. And the card feels pretty solid. Alright, so I went ahead and uh, removed the hard drive and some other components, and I've just been looking around on here for a USB-F uh, connector anywhere on this motherboard, and it doesn't appear that there's any at all that I can even see, better yet, any actually open and available ones. And um, according to these instructions, the uh, this cable is for the Bluetooth. So I'm just going to go ahead and try and uh, install this without the... Um, Bluetooth cable here, and we'll just see if we can at least get it to do Wi-Fi. So, uh, yeah, stay tuned. I'm going to put this back together, and then I'll show you how to install the drivers. So now I'm just going to go ahead and screw the antennas in. Alright, with everything put back together and the antennas on, I'm going to go ahead and hook the power back up. And now we can power it on. Alright, so for this next part, I'm going to go ahead and go to um, Google, and I'll just type in www.qd.com backslash ax210. Let me just try the Bluetooth. Okay, so it's going to let me do the Bluetooth. Alright, now after following the prompts, click finish. I go to um, settings. If I go to settings, devices, and then Bluetooth, let's see if it'll let me. Alright, so I'm here now, and I'm going to go ahead and click Wi-Fi. And then I'll download the Windows 10 through Windows 11, except the license agreement should open this. And then we can go ahead and um, download this driver. Follow the prompts. And uh, the installation has been done. So now I have an existing uh, USB Wi Fi adapter that I've been using temporarily for this time. And I'm going to go ahead and um, remove it right now, as you can see. Oh, oh wait, wait, I, I should. should uh... Uh... And now, let's just go ahead and see if I can still have Wi-Fi. Now, with this removed. So there you go. Wi-Fi signal right now. I already removed my other Wi-Fi adapter. So, we're relying off of the new drivers and the uh, new chip. Unfortunately, I don't think it's going to work with Bluetooth because as you saw before, when I tried to download the Bluetooth driver, and af even after that, it still wouldn't connect to So I think I'm going to have to buy an additional Bluetooth adapter like the Wi-Fi one I just took out. That's going to be a little like USB thumb drive I can just stick into a slot and use for Bluetooth. And since Bluetooth seems to be a more like close range anyways, I don't think it'll be as big of an issue. And so I think that this is still a great product, even if uh, it doesn't work for Bluetooth on your hardware. You can still use it for Wi-Fi if the if you only have a PCIe port, and um, it seems to be working fine so far. So yeah, highly recommend it. Thanks for watching.